Hi guys, welcome to Next YouTube channel. My name is Ramesh Shah and I am your online coach. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to set up centralized log server with fastest log in Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points, which is what is RSS log and its use cases. RSS log is a free and open source logging utility that exists by default on Gaia Linux, and it provides an easy and effective way of centralized log from client nodes to a single central server. The centralization of log is beneficial in two ways. First, it simplifies viewing of the log as a system administrator can view all the logs of remote server from a central point without logging into the every client system to check the logs. This is the great beneficial if there are servers, several servers that needed to be monitored. Secondly, in, in the event that a remote client suffer a crash, you need not to worry about losing the logs because all the log will be saved on the central RSS log server, right? So RSS log has replaced syslog, which only support UDP protocols. It extends the by basic syslog protocol with superior features such as support both TCP and UDP protocols in transporting log, assumed filtering abilities, and flexible configuration options. So let's begin the lab session. We'll see how we can configure the RSS log server in Linux system. As you can see, this is my VMware workstation where I have two virtual machines. This is RHL 9.2 server and this is RHL 9.2 client. Now let me log in here also with root. Okay, so I'm logged in here. Now, uh, this is uh, my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 9.2. Let me show you the OS release version first. So I can go with KITTC. Red Hat release, this is 9.2, and let me check the IP address of this machine also. So, host name hyphen i, IP address is 192.168.1, right? Now, the next part is that uh, I will configure this machine as a centralized log server, right? So, let's move to the another machine and check the same thing where we are going to configure this one as a client. So, I'm here, I'm already logged in with root. Let me check the host name hyphen i, the IP address is 192.168.2 and check the Red Hat released, yep, 9.2, right? So now let's start with the first step, which is configure the machine as centralized log server. So I'll back on my 9.2 server, this machine. And as I said, RS log server is installed and running automatically. In order to verify the daemon is running on the system, we can run the following command, systemctl, systemctl status rs Log service. So now you can see currently it is active and running, right? And it's enabled. But due to any reason, the RSS log utility is not available by default on the system that you plan to use as a centralized logging server. Then we need to run the DNF command to install the RSS log package and start a daemon. Command would be DNF install install RS RS log iPhone Y and then you need to System CTL, system CTL, enable RSS log hyphen hyphen now, right? So this command you need to run if any reason the syslog utility is not available. But I'm going to remove this one because I have already done that. Now move to the next part, which is configure RSS log configuration file. Once RSS log utility is installed, you can now configure RSS log as a centralized logging server by opening the main configuration file, which is etc rsyslog.conf file, right? Let me set the line number for you. Okay. So now, uh, this basically is receiving the log message from the external client, right? So in the RSS log configuration file, we need to find and uncomment few lines to grant TCP or UDP transport reception to the RSS log service via port number 514, right? So if I scroll down here, you will find out two line, line number 3031 and 3536. So 3031 is for UDP communication and 3536 for TCP. So you can go with TCP based or you can go with UDP based choice up to you. As per need or scenario, you can configure that one, right? Let it be uncommon to configure the RSS log domain to bind and listen to a TCP socket on 514. So I have enabled both, but you can go with TCP or UDP choice up to you. In the next, we need to create a new template for receiving remote message as uh, as this template will guide the local RSS log server where to save the received message sent by syslog network clients, right? 
so what i can do i can add new line from here right let me write down new line here and i have write down this thing in my notepad let it be copy then i will explain what we need to add it so i need to add these two lines let me copy control c and i'm back on my machine and paste it here safely yep so these two line you have to add line number 37 38 38 and 39 and let it be save it first okay so looking at the uh, this line rule set the first rule is dollar template remote log comma var log percentage host name percentage program dot log right this directive dollar template says ask the sub demo to gather and write all of the received remote message with a separate log file under var query under the var log based on the host name whatever the client machine name is and remote and by remote client facility and write read the message as defined by the which is present in the template remote logs file so basically it will it will does what it will create var log and the machine name station 1 station 2 and the log will be generated with the help with the with the programming name like sudo or message something like that with dot log right and the second line uh, star dot star uh, question mark remote log means record message from all facilities at all facility level using at remote log template configuration file so all logs will be stored so just as these two two line in your rss log configuration file and just save and close the configuration file and for apply the recent changes we need to restart the services right so i just save and quit and let me restart the services so i'll remove this and restart first perfect so once you have restarted the rss log server it should now act as a centralized log server and record messages from syslog client to confirm rss log network sockets we need to run net state command and use grep utility to filter syslog uh, string so we can go with net state hyphen tu tu and lp and pipe grep rsys syslog so now you can see that it is ready to listen on port number 514 Perfect. We have successfully configured our RCS log server to receive the logs from the client system. Now move to the next part, configure the client machine, right? So for the better administration management, uh, either I need to go for here and perform the stocks, I can take the SSH from here. So let me oh, take the SSH 192.168.0.2. Let me log in with root user password. And this is station one. So now what I'm going to perform here, it will perform basically in this machine, right? So station one. So uh, let me check the RSS log service status first. It should be active and running. So system CTL status RSYS log LOG. See active running and it's enabled. Perfect. Next, we need to open the syslog configuration file and append some line for send logs to the remote log server, right? So I can open etc rsyslog.conf file and go to the bottom, add new your, your lines, right? So I just add new line and here I will write down some entries. First of all, uh, say star dot star, the common, right? At the rate IP address of, the of your server. So in my case, the server is 192.168.1.5.4. And this is, we can say, let me write down a few things for you. Uh, use at the rate for UDP protocol, right? UDP PROTO protocol. So now let me copy paste one more time. Just one more case use case I can get twice. So twice would be used for TCP based protocol, right? For TCP. Similarly, what we can do, suppose I don't want to grab all, I want to just go for info or auth related log. So I can go auth dot all priority cases, like it could be emergency or critical or anything. So I can go with this one. Or we can go for something like uh, this is you, this is only for auth right uh, only for auth base record auth base record something like that right so you can go with one by one or you can go with all but i'm not going to this one right i'll just go only for the demonstration for the first part so this is how you can put up the entry inside this file now we need to save and restart so i just enable both entry for tcp udp based protocol for all uh, facilities and all priorities right so i'll save and quit System CTL restart RSS log log perfect. 
Now move to the final step, testing the logging operation. So having successfully set up the configure RFS log server and client system, it's time to verify of your configuration is work as it did, right? So on the client side, let me execute some command. It will generate the logs. Then we will check on the server side whether log is stored on server or not. So let me go some basic command like user add command to generate the user, set the password. This will generate some logs, right? Let me go with authentication using su command. I exit the session. Let me try to make a web server. Yum, install sttpd, sttpd, and then system ctl enable sttpd hyphen now. So it will install the package first, then it will start and enable the services, right? And I will create a small index.html file and will check whether my server is running or not properly. So basically the fun funda is that the concept is that I need to generate some log, right? So I'll, I'm going to follow this one. Where wstml get index.html hi this this is demo web server. Okay, hopefully it should work. Control C. Let me verify from curl command curl localhost yep it's working and finally let me run the logger command to send a test message right i can go with logger command also logger uh, test from station one dot example dot com perfect i hope that's sufficient right so now uh, let me exit from here on station one i'm back on my server i'm totally exit from here currently i am in my server machine back so uh, now we Uh, now move to the directory first where that is where log directory right uh, but if i go back again on the configuration file the location is where log the host name and the program whatever the program we have executed right so let me do the where log here here you can see that station one is there right station one is my client machine name. so if i go with the station one cd station one here you will find out the files uh, group add, sttpd, passwd, root, ssd, su, whatever the logs we have generated. Here you can see the uh, the logs file of station one machine. So choose one of the log you want to view and analyze. Let go with the su first, cat su.log. So you can see that Bob user entry, right? Session is open from su command and close. Similarly, I can go with the, let me go with passwd log for password bait, password. I have changed the password for log, so that, that the reason it is there. Similarly, I can go with the uh, user ID. It will show me the log related, whatever the user ID, Bob, group ID, home directory, everything. Even I have the HTTPD, right? Web server started listening on port number 80. Perfect. Similarly, uh, remember we have a logger. So we can check from cat root.log. Hey, this is the test from station1.example.com. So all of the output confirm that our syslog server is now receiving logs from the client so guys, that's all about this demo. We have successfully set up the RSS log server to receive the log messages from the client side. And finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.